Hey, Hank Sagri, I hope you're stopping me. It's your boy N O R E. What up, is that crazy hood DJ E F N? And, and right now, this is motherfucking Drink Chats motherfucking podcast. Make some noise! And right, and right now, who's. Who's joining us is one of the most anticipated artists from back then, and he's most anticipated for right now. He came home from jail. He's the only nigga that came home from jail, and he wasn't mad at nobody. He met with Jay-Z. He met with everybody. He told everybody this love, and he's still looking young. I seen the nigga at his video yesterday. The nigga's, the nigga's doing... I said, I asked the nigga, I had to ask the nigga, I said, yo, you got TV in jail? And the nigga said, no. And he's home right now, he's still smiling, he's still looking young. My brother, a pers- only rapper I gotta personally apologize to because I'm a real nigga and I love that nigga and I will work to make sure I'm that he calls me his brother again. We got true life in the motherfucking yeah. world. Reiterate that love, because love, love. I really love True Life, and me and him was so close Facts. when he went away. Yep. And he's the only rapper that when 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 I heard that True was like a little mad at me. Like, <laughs> I'm listen. I'm gonna keep. Oh, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm gonna be honest. Listen, this when I heard that he was a little <laughs> mad at me, he's the only person in the universe that I said he's right. Cause I'm so honest. When a person is mad at me. What's up, Ed? How you doing? God damn, you looking at me funny. Everybody's mad at you right now. No, everybody's mad at me. When a, most usually when a person is mad at me, I always be like, well, fuck them. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'll be like, yo. But he was the only person I sat back and I listened. I said, damn, whatever he's mad at me about, I 100% agree with you. And I apologize, my brother, because you know why? If you were mad at me or if you even looked at me in a, uh, a side way, you're absolutely right. Because, you know, I was just trying to find my way. And I don't have no excuse, my oh, brother. No. Like, I don't give a fuck what I'm about to tell you because <laughs> it's, about, it's, about it's about to help me. But honestly, true life, I really do love you as a brother. And I apologize. How long did you do? Eight joints. Eight goddamn years. Yo, welcome home. And this, yo, I seen the nigga yesterday. This nigga was like, <laughs> I was like, how you he's know the home? steps. He's, like, you know he's here. He's home. Oh, shit. He's here. He's home. And, and we want to do nothing but big you up, my brother, because this is a show for legends. And you are one hundred percent hands down legends. We just seen a picture with you on Prodigy. Mm. How did that go? Facts, facts. Yo, Twin, where you at? Don't get me smoking on camera. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How did um, that go? Um, Ron Artest, man, and my boy um, Tone and shit. Um, uh huh. Ron, he had brought Ron Artest over to the studio. We was playing music and I'm um, just uh-huh. vibing out. Uh huh. And um, the next day he just called me up, telling me if I wanted to meet with him. Man. Right. I was like, shit, no problem. He and he asked you, did you want to meet with Pete? Yeah. Okay. He asked me if I, you know, thought I would, um, would like to meet with Pete to put that shit behind. He would like to help get it. I told him it really wasn't. Really nothing to dad, but I said, you know, right. we could do it, we could get up or whatever. Now this is your first time seeing P since um the uh incident? <clears throat> oh no. 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 You seen P before? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, oh. we kinda now nah, we, we we kinda seen each other afterwards, you know what I'm saying? So we kinda had like But then talk. Now, no, we talked, but now right. we kinda just went into a little more like, you know what I'm saying? We sat right. down to talk and I told right. him I apologize to him as well, you know oh, what I'm wow. saying? As no, far sure. as yeah, wow. facts. This is a real man right here. I mean, let's make some fucking noise. So don't you guys have to do that. Life is a real so it, takes, it take it takes a lot. It took a lot of growing for me to get to that point, you know. And I just told him that I'm gonna change, you know, the, the man that was standing in front of him that day is just a different person, you know. So, and I told him actually, I told him, I actually told him that I was proud of him, you know, wow. to to wow. sit there to even have that conversation because I know it takes a certain kind of man to, you know, have that conversation, you know, to sit right. down and do that. So I told him I was proud of him. Fact. And then, and then, um, so we're proud of you for that. But then also we see, like when you first came home, like your third day or something like that, you posted a picture with Jay Z at Rock yeah. Nation, correct? Yeah. yeah. So how how was that? Because I heard you that say cool. on the Breakfast Club, yeah, you was like most people thought you was gonna come home mad. Yeah. Yeah. And and you came home happy as fuck, yeah. jewelryed up, 
You know what I'm saying? Well, I'll be honest with you. You know, when I was in the pen, you know, it's a lot of resentment, a lot of anger. Right. You know, you know that you feel when you're in there. But I right. just knew I couldn't, I couldn't come home with that. You know, right. I, I had to leave that behind me. Right. You know, because I know that's the devil. So I ain't trying right. to be with the devil. I'm trying to be with God. And I just felt like that, that's that's a heavy burden. And nobody want to carry around hate, <laughs> anger. Like I don't want to be a person to be bitter and carry hate. I don't want to hate anyone. So mm. I just knew it was time to just let go and forgive everybody, whoever. Mm. Let's and make some noise for that. Goddamn it. Yeah. J. Thomas told me he's gonna get me drunk. It's the only, it's the time, it's time for you, motherfucker. Yo, let me let me let me just say something. Jay Thomas, uh, yo, you know, you know what's the most funniest shit? Yes, not the funniest. This is the most realest shit yesterday. I'm at your video and I wanna really support you. Fact. So I I, I I didn't I wasn't there as an artist. I was just really there as a person to support you. And one of your guys, I, I don't know if he's here, he had a he had there you go, right here. Come over here. Come over here. Come over here. I knew I knew him, right? But I just didn't remember where I knew him, but I knew I knew him. Yeah. And he came up to me, he gave me a five. And I said, how you doing, my brother? And you know, this is his exact words he said to me. I said, how you doing? He said, I'm straight. Leasy home. <laughs> Yo, but wow. his, his, um, how you call that? Demeanor. Oh my God, when I looked at him, and it made me realize how many people you employ. And that, that doesn't mean like you giving them money, yeah. but it's so many people who have faith and have hope in you. And that shit was crazy to me. Like, I know you don't even know what you did to me yesterday. I know when he said it, and I just looked at him and I was just analyzing him. And, cause he said, yo, man, I'm, I said, yo, how you doing? He said, Lazy home. Lazy, lazy, lazy home. And, 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 and it, it actually, it actually fucked me up. That's the first thing I thought about when I Fact. woke up just now. It was like how many people who depended on you, how many people uh, who trusted in you to change their life, yeah. and now you're home again. And although you just home like maybe two or three months, maybe. Yeah. You still have that responsibility <laughs> that the Lower East Side Facts. and fuck and, and, and what I mean by Lower East Side, I'm not saying fuck Lower East Side, I'm not saying fuck Lower East Side, I'm yeah. saying, but it's so many people yeah. who really just look at you to change the world. Like how does how does how how is That's a lot of responsibility? You, yeah, you got Matt. You um, thank you for having more responsibility than me. <laughs> <laughs> but, like how the hell is that though? Well, you know, um, I just feel like I don't. I, I learned a lot from um, the mistakes that I made in the past, and I just feel mm -hmm. I, I realized that um, I did let a lot of people down. You know, by certain decisions that I made in my life, and um, right. I'm trying to correct those things and do things differently now. So I'm trying to make them proud, and I'm trying to go out here and win, and trying right. to help, trying to help out and do things in a different way. So I, I just feel like I'm trying to put God first and stay positive and and, and, and win. And um, right. Do what I was supposed to do the first time. Right. Now, what, the thing about True is, right, this is the most thing I love about True, is True is righteous. <laughs> True, is, True is a half a God body. <laughs> <laughs> He's a half a God. You're a half a God body. I was God body. That's why I got True Life. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, um, I remember, I remember, like, it was a rumor. They was like, yo, True Life is Muslim in jail. And I forgot who I asked. <laughs> I was like, yo, is True Life Muslim in jail? That nigga said, he, he was eating pork on the visit. <laughs> Is that true? <laughs> nah, that's not true. That's Let's not make true. some noise for it not being true. God damn it. God damn it. Yo, yo, but true, listen, let me just tell you something, my brother. Once again, um, I would like to apologize to you as a man because when I heard that you had like, a, like just a, this, I, you wasn't mad at me, yeah. but you was disappointed in me. Like that's but what happened. What the yeah. fuck happened? No, because like I didn't go all out to actually make sure that he know that my love is still. Uh, um, there for him And when you're in jail I've been in jail I right. did three and a half years I did a, a year before that Three and a half years So he's the only rapper That I had no argument with <laughs> like, <laughs> like I can't even be, I can't even defend myself Like because The thing about life Is when you're wrong You can't be right too You gotta just be fucking wrong Right. And this, you're the first person, like, and I would like to apologize because I really do love you as a brother, my nigga. Nah. And I listen, Facts. I'm going to make sure. Because like, yesterday yeah. I was peeping, I was like, yo, this, this is my brother right here. He's like, yo, this is my guy. I was like, oh, I'm catching that guy, shit. Oh, <laughs> I was like, I'm oh, catching. Shit. So, but you know what? 
I'm going to work Because you know what You got a point yeah, bro. You, probably, you probably wasn't peeping it But I was I'm petty <laughs> You know what I'm saying definitely petty <laughs> oh, yo, yo twin You ain't making me drink You're uh, fired already man So listen uh, shit. So I, I got to apologize to you And you also got your man with me Listen let me tell you something All night I was watching your moves like, I got a bag for it and I got, Let's talk about this Whoa. video man Go, Okay come to the mic What's your name again? Vellis, man. And you, you really the um, uh, what's that nigga name? Quentin Miller. You really like for Drake, right? Nah, I'm just playing. Look at you guys. You got nervous. 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 I'm just fucking with you. But um, you, you did work with Drake. That's true. Yeah, I worked that's with a beautiful Drake. thing. Who else Kanye. you worked with? Kanye. Oh, shit. You did Kanye's. This is one of Kanye's favorite record. Um, before All Day Had came out, I was filming French Montana's video for um. What the fuck is the record I did for French Montana? Come on, somebody help me out. Everybody looking at me like I'm retarded. Rick, Rick. 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 Nah. Off the rip. Off the rip. And, and French played me all day, all day. All day, all day. And I was like, that's my favorite Kanye record of all time. <laughs> and I've been trying to get at you. Yeah. True was introducing me to you. Yeah. And I was like, but I know him from somewhere. Yeah. I thought I thought I fucked your bitch up every day. Nah. Like, <laughs> but, yeah. Am I a lot of niggas that look at me with that look. They be like, nigga, you fucked my bitch. You know what I'm saying? But well, you wasn't. You yeah. wasn't. But um, let's let's tell the people, first off, introduce yourself. My name is Fellas, mm -hmm. aka Young Disco. Uh -huh. And how the hell you hook up with True Life? Um, we have the same manager, Gabi. Mm, oh, okay. Big up the Gabi, get a lot of money, goddamn. Yeah. Yeah. I heard Gabi ain't French not fucking around. I don't know. Let's get into that later. But go ahead, continue. <laughs> yeah. So you know, uh -huh. um, so we came home and we got in the studio. We just started vibing, man. Wow, and I'm you're from, from New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People but don't I'm, know that. We need to claim you. I'm, so I'm, I'm from, from, from up top, but up top. I've been down low for like five years. What that mean? Upstate New York. Upstate, yeah. Oh, okay. Up That's okay. Albany. Uh, I will sell the Albany. Kingston, K.I. Mm, he only one shot it out. That's how you shot it out all day. K.I. all day. Kingston, Kingston, Kingston. Kingston. Uh, Kingston. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Let's make some noise for Kingston, guys. Yeah. So, True Life is home. You squashed the beef for Prodigy. Yeah. Me and you is, is rocking. Hey, yo, where my drink? Where's the yo, he's, No drink yo, for Nori on You and True chance. Life is rocking. I mean, you and Prodigy is rocking. Yeah. There's this interview that comes out. And, uh, this guy, Jim Jones, is on uh, The Breakfast Club, right? I, I got love for Jim Jones, and I and I know that if you guys get in the room, it would be worked out, but what did he say? He said something about you on The Breakfast Club. It was, I don't know, that shit was like minute to me, right. so it's like, you know what I'm saying? I don't even right. pay attention to that. I just sit back and I laugh and shit like so you, that. So you think it's a possibility that y'all could work it out, or is that something you're looking forward to? As far as me, I don't got no issue with him, you know right. what I'm saying? I don't got no issue with him as far as me, because I've right. I, I forgiven everybody, you know? And right. I, cause, when you want God to forgive you, you got to learn to forgive others. And I ain't mm. been the most forgiving person in my life, you understand mm. what I'm saying? So when I sat in that cell and I had to realize that I was asking for forgiveness for all the things that I've done wrong in my life, mm. you know, when you're sitting there facing life in prison, you know, when you're sitting there, you know, dealing with that type of heavy burden, you just realize, like, you know, it, I guess it taught me how to forgive, you know? Because I'll be honest with you, like, I bumped in the old boy and, like, we could have worked it out, but I wasn't... When, when you came home? No. Oh, okay. No, back no, then. Back, back then, right. we had a little, you know, little running where we could have probably worked it out, but I wasn't right. in that space. You right. know, I wasn't in that space. It, right. It, I was I was I was still in another world. I was in another mind state. You know what right. I'm saying? So, you know, but I'm in a different mind. I'm I'm just in a different whole space right now. I'm in a space where even if he got something to say bad about me, I really don't. You know, I can't pay attention to what somebody else think about me. You know what I'm saying? Like that's not gonna affect. You can't rent space in my mind. You know what I'm saying? It costs too much money to get in my head. You know what I'm saying? That's another that dream was, champs quote right that's there. That's another dream champs quote. Right there. <laughs> I stopped mid sentence. I was like, damn, I gotta take that. So yeah, that yeah. shit ain't free, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. That shit ain't free. So that shit costs money to get in my head. We would love for Jim Jones and True Life to sit down because you know what's happening right now. Uh, and I don't want to keep re reiterating the story, but the people at Drink Champs know. Uh, Fat Joe had called me one day, and Fat Joe was like, how did you get in contact with Jay-Z? And I told him, nigga, nobody gets in contact with Jay-Z. He gets in contact with you. Yeah. <laughs> so he's like, how the fuck could you? So I had I had set off a trend without knowing I was setting off a trend. So I hit Jay, I hit Fat Joe, and I worked out the, well, let me stop. I didn't work out the beef. I knew both of them wanted to squash it, so I put them on the phone and I relaxed. You mediated. From then. But... 
that initial conversation had set off a lot of other things. Drake and DMX. Drake had just sampled DMX voice, uh, excuse me, DMX records, and uh, DMX manager Ali Sammy, big you up, big up uh, Randy Acker, big up Mr. Lee. But um, they got me on the phone and was like, yo, Drake just sampled our shit. Well, obviously that was DMX. <laughs> but <laughs> Drake just sampled, Tony got my speech on. Like, and I made that happen. I set off a trend because you know, I'm cool with Drake. 40 is one of my favorite producers, and I happen to be one of his favorite artists. So I set up this trend. Um, so when I see that you and uh, um, Jim wasn't perfectly, you know, it, it was something that I wanted to help out. You know what I'm saying? It was something that I wanted to pursue because out of every rapper in the world, I'm going to say it once, once again, I owe you. You know what I'm saying? Because I owe you because our friendship. Our friend, like you, the only rapper that ever, ever, ever had an issue with me, and I said he's right. <laughs> Instead of like, cause I, I'm, and you I, stubborn as a mother. Oh, I'm too. stubborn. Like if my <laughs> wife is mad at me, like yo, you ain't pick up the groceries. Yeah. Like so what, motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> What's your problem? Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? But you the only, and I will make it up to you. I, I promise it. you. This is face to face, nah, eye to eye. Nah, 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 nah. I'm gonna make it up to you because sometimes I'm not the best person in the world. But I got the best intentions. But so with that being said, I seen you with Jay. I seen all this. Then I see you come out, you do a video. First off, is the budget open? <laughs> <laughs> this nigga had Ferraris, two ghosts. Then he had another two ghosts on the side, just sleeping. The go- I'm, talking about, I'm talking about phantoms. I like, he said like, ghosts for a second. I was like, God damn. He had that too. He had ghosts too. He something? had ghosts too. Like, how the fuck? Like, for real, like, honestly, if I'm in Costa Rica, which I'm going to Costa Rica, I got a show for Costa Rica, I want a chance to come to Costa Rica in October. I'm sorry, I want applause. But <laughs> if I go to Costa Rica for two, three months, I miss what's going on in New York. I miss what's going on in, in Miami. You came home, and I, I know I keep doing this because I, I, I even fly as y'all niggas. Y'all niggas was doing some dance, and I was like, I've been trying this dance in the mirror for like six months, and I can't get it right. This nigga just came home from eight years, and he going like this, I don't know, no little bag for it. I'm like, how the fuck are you doing the dance better than me? Like, how, how, does, how does that work? Like, how does how, how do you guys, because at the end of the day, all due respect, give me a five, don't let me hang all due, all due respect, to you, but there's no way you can know him to get in his bag. Like, that. how the how the hell did that come about? That record. Oh uh, man, we just really we we been in there just vibing. We we got like a lot of records together. Mm. I need to work. I think it was like a way. natural thing, man. Yeah. Honestly, I just had came home and um right was just hearing different music. My son playing me different music. You know, putting me up on what's good mm. and what's bad, and you know, just hearing the fourteen year old's point of view on music and stuff like mm. that. And, I just knew I had to, you know, I couldn't stay lost in space somewhere, so I felt like I had to, you know, bring bring some things up to speed. And I don't know, it just ended up, it was all natural, really. I wasn't even trying to, like, change things. or It was just more, I just wanted to make music that was fly and felt good. And right. I ended up meeting my boy, Miles William. He's somewhere around here, my boy right there. That's my guy, yeah. too. I met him yesterday produced, as well. He produced the track, you know what I'm saying? And, um, I don't know, we just had great chemistry working with him, and then, you know, I brought him around, we linked up with him, and then, you know, just everything just, just came together, man, we just... Now, Miles, what, you from upstate New York as well? Nah. I'm from New Jersey. You from New Jersey? Oh, God damn it. True Life keeping it in New York. God damn it, make some noise for True Life, God damn it. So, let me big up your move. Shout out to Saigon. Saigon um, introduced me to Miles, too. Oh, big up Saigon. Saigon also... Oh. Tweeted the other day that he co-signed during champs and he wants to be on here. We want you to know Saigon, you are oh, very yeah, welcome. welcome. So True Life comes home. The day, you, like the week you came home, yeah. Like I was trying to reach you. I, I had niggas was like he ain't fucking with nobody. That, that's what they told me. It made me feel better. Like <laughs> <laughs> now, you know, I felt like this though. You right. know, when I being gone for eight years, you come right. home. You know, I right. felt like I had to at least give my family. Mm-hmm. First thing I could do is at least Proper give my attention. family eight weeks. You right. know what I'm saying? Like Fifty Cent had called me up and he was like, me and was on the phone talking and um he was just like, wow, he felt like I needed to take advantage of being home and getting in that moment of what was going on and me being back. Like it was so big that I right. had to, you know, really. Capitalize on that, but my thing was. Twin. 
What yeah. was most important to me was my family, you know, my, my, my foundation. So I had right. to go and, and take care of my family first. And, you know, that's a whole transition in itself. You know, like I'm right. a human being. You just don't come out of that type of situation and just, you know, like, hey, things hunky dory. I could just jump in the studio and everything's a wave and I got to rap and, you know, got kids, my G. Yeah, that's so, priority, family yeah, priority. So family had to come first. Yeah. So once I did that, you know, they gave me my kids, then gave me the pass, like, Dad, go get them. So I'm like, all right, I'm on nah, the ass now. You gotta go get them. You gotta I'm go on the get ass them. now. So the know? week you came home, right, uh, uh, I had dropped a record with Bleak. Yeah. Me and Miss Bleak. And um, I didn't ask Bleak, uh, uh, the, the, uh, what do we name it or nothing. But I had dropped it, and Bleak was like, he called me, he was like, I don't know if True Life gonna like our shit. And I was like, why? And he was like, <laughs> I was like, why would True Life like our shit? And he goes, because he got a, a label called Mogul Tree, right? And we had a, a, a song called Mogul. Right. Okay. He was like, I think we should call it something else. I was like, true, no, like I'm creative, like I'm not biting off of him. Like, but yeah. this is a dope name for a, a, a company. And did you come home with this company mindset? I thought, yeah, I thought, from, nah, I, thought okay. I thought about that on the inside. I just had a vision in my head and I felt like I wanted to come home and you know, go balls to the wall and do things differently. And I just wanted to be independent and do my own thing. Like I've been mm. offered a couple situations already, but we just trying to figure it out right now. You know what I'm saying? And uh, right. we just trying to build a brand over here. We got a bunch of different artists under me. Right. You know, we got different um, producers, singers, songwriters, right. all type of shit. And we just trying to build our own wave and we just doing what we doing. You know what well, I'm saying? Well, the one thing I want to do is um, <clears throat> prior to you getting locked up, we was together like every other day. And one day, you had a van, I remember. And you picked me up, we chilling in Jersey, we didn't go to New York this day, and I heard your whole album. You had played me your album, which was, which was the album then. You had a record with Nas? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Jay-Z. Yeah, yeah. Like, and you my man at the time, and I was still a little bit hating. I was like, this, how the fuck did he pull that off? <laughs> you had Nas. Yeah. And Jay Z, yeah. and this nigga didn't leak the record. Yeah. What the fuck? It still is ain't see the light of day. Nah. Yo, oh, my nigga, listen to me. I would have leaked that the second day I was in jail. Twice. <laughs> twice. <laughs> what? Twice. <laughs> like I can't believe. Like, like, like this, this, this is certain. Like, y'all on our level is at a different peak than most people. Like. I swear to God, every day you was in, like, a way, I was like, why the fuck he didn't leak that shit? Because you would have made 200000 just by just throwing, and neither one of them motherfuckers would have sued you. Right. Because they'd be like, that's true, like, one, kind of scared of him, and two, he's going to shoot you. It's like, like, leave it alone. Like, leave it alone. Like, how, how didn't you leak these records? They sitting in the archives. Like I said, I got a lot of archives with a lot of people. I got no archives, my yeah, nigga. I got, I got one archives. record, but he's dead. Other than that, no, like, you don't hold shit. Other than pun, the whole shit. Like, I'm not gonna lie, Joe came to my crib one time and I played him some pun records. And he was like, what the fuck is wrong with you? I said, there's nothing wrong with me. I don't wanna make no money off of this dead man. Oh. And he said, damn. And I swear to God, like I that's remember what, them records too. Yeah, uh, you, dude, you're probably the only nigga that I, I played. Like I got like seven Facts. pun records, and it's like, why would I give it to anybody? Damn. Pun did it for me. And he's gone. I can't call him to ask him right. if he wants to do it. So I got, honestly, I got 15. Cuts has five. My old engineer, Cuts, big up incredible Cuts. He, he DJ at the Apollo. He has five and I have seven myself. But my point is, had Pun not been dead, <laughs> oh my God. Had Pun been Jeezy? You would have been linking Oh my God. I would have been like, Jeezy would have been like, nigga, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> see me when you see me. <laughs> Like you can like, listen, listen, true life. Maybe you don't really understand that when Nas and Hove initially squashed their beef, yeah. <laughs> they first record they ever recorded together was fucking for you. And the fucking world don't know that. Let's make some noise with true life. <laughs> I was not only trying to steal his record, I was trying to get on it. I just didn't know how to talk to him about it. I was just like, oh shit. And then he was just acting like it was a normal day. He was like, yeah, this is this whole Nas record I got. And he just kept driving. I was like, this is not normal, nigga. Like, how the fuck can you do that? But, and you, so you, would, would you renew that record with a new verse? Because I'm, I, as I remember it, they verses was not dated. Like, they didn't say something like. It was never, be honest with you, shit was right. never really put together, all the way put together. It was like, 
you know, this person did something, that person did something, but it was right. never all the way put together. So I never even got to finish these records. These was records that I was working on for my album, and right. a lot of things just wasn't finished. Right. And me being, um, I guess I was a, a perfectionist at that time, too, where I was really just trying to come, like, I don't know, I just was trying to really perfect things, and I'm, I'm, I'm my worst critic sometimes, so I just want things to be just perfect. All right. You know what I mean? But we just trying, we trying to get to it now. That we, we trying to just press release now. Go ahead. I'm trying to feel you. I'm trying to feel you. <laughs> but if I had a record with Lies of Jay-Z, I don't know how I would just slip it to my engineer's so will hands. That, will that record come out? <laughs> will you ever show that record? Um, I, like I said, I got some archives. I got different that little. I got, got nah, a bunch of true. archives on a lot true. of people. Man. You can make a half a million dollars just off of that record, and neither one of them is gonna sue you. I'm gonna keep it real because you <laughs> you listen, listen. So um, you had a record with you, and then not only that, prior to you going to jail, yeah, there was a huge rumor that Jeezy was trying to sign you. Yeah, that was true. That was true, right? Yeah. Because yeah, I heard was Jeezy true. was trying to bring you out at Summer Jam. Yeah. Is that correct? Yeah. yeah. And then what we happened? We got to the we got to Summer Jam late. It was weird, man, because we right. got we pulled up to Summer Jam late. Mm -hmm. He kept telling me how we was gonna make a movie and um he wanted to like make sure Jay was there because we was getting Jay to be involved because I had left Def Jam. Because it was supposed and, um, to be uh, Jay left Def Jam. Um, so I was in the middle of doing a new situation because at first I didn't want to rap no more. I had took two years off and I was just going through my own little things and right. my mind went right. And I ran into different people like Ross and Jeezy, and they kept telling me how my star power was crazy and that I needed to do it. Right. So at the time, um, you know, me and Jeezy was getting ready to do it. Then we hollered at Jay, and um, right. we me, him, and Jay was going to do it. And we were thinking about doing a tour together. Jeezy was going to put me on his first single. Instead mm -hmm. of him jumping on my record, I was going to jump mm -hmm. on his first record. And we was going to make a movie. And um, we got the Summer Jam late. Jay came out and did DOA which we wasn't expecting, and they shut the mics off after that, so mm -hmm. I wasn't really able to catch that break. Couple days later, you know, and everything was else is history. It was, was also a time a bad situation. Snoop Dogg and yeah. Jay was supposed to executive produce your show. Yeah, no, um, when I was, see a lot, Snoop actually, with my first deal when I signed to Jay, mm -hmm. Snoop was the one who found me first, brought me out to the Apollo, Mm. After running the mixtape mixtape circuit and um, it's big of the Apollo. I got the Apollo uh, shirt on. Oh, right. sure. Shout out to the Apollo. Niggas can't have this shirt because you ain't performing, you foul niggas. <laughs> <laughs> All right, can't continue. Yeah, so Snoop Dogg had brought me out to Apollo. We tore down Apollo and um, had a couple different deals on the table and um, he wanted to sign me. And at that time, I felt like it was important for me to bring, you know, some new flavor to New York. So I wanted to start the new New York movement and I ended up signing with Jay Z and I got Jay to cut Snoop a check to executive produce oh, my album. So so that you know, it wasn't no, 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 no type of you know. Hey, everybody won there. Yeah, pretty Listen, much. I'm, I'm gonna be that's, that's crazy. He just said that shit like it was normal <laughs> shit. I got Snoop to cut. <laughs> no, I got Jay to cut <laughs> Snoop. <laughs> this is not no normal shit. Like you well, know what I'm saying? And then so you had um, Snoop and Jay Z, and then yeah. you, you had Jeezy. So after that, Jeezy was supposed to sign you as well. Yeah, but right? after the Snoop and Jay situation, you know, when right. Jay was leaving Def Jam, I decided I wanted to leave Def Jam. So and I was in my own space. I was in a weird space at that time. You know, I've always had my own little demons chasing me down. I'm like my worst enemy sometimes and right. I didn't want to rap no more at that time I was just dealing with some things and then I came back you know and that's when me and Jeezy and Jay was going to do it you know mm -hmm. after taking two years off and having that True York mixtape out and killing the streets and touring with Rick Ross with a mixtape out and then I got locked up so now True I'm pop. back word True Pop that's my shit yo when you say that shit it's a certain feeling of that goes through my <laughs> goes through my body I be like True Pop I believe it <laughs> so I, you had Jeezy, Jay Z. Yeah. You had uh, oh, this is Elliot Wilson train. You know who Elliot Wilson is? Yeah. Uh, all right. Yeah. He tried to sabotage our show. Oh, because, what? Yeah. Because yeah. we kicking his ass. He sends his train every show. <laughs> he, sends, he sends his train every show. That, wow. Which means you're doing a great interview. Wow. Because if you, you don't do a great interview, this train don't come by. So, so I see something very interesting from you. You call future. Yeah. Meathead. Meathead, yeah. That was hard. Meathead. That was hard. <laughs> like, because I know you know him, because I yeah. knew Future. Oh, I didn't know him, but I knew him from the Dungeon family. Yeah. And yeah. I, I remember me being around because Big Boy used to be my homie. He yeah. still is my homie. Let me not say it like a past tense. But um, I remember seeing him around. Like I'm talking about back back then. Yeah. How the yeah. fuck do you know everybody? Like I know everybody. Like, well, me and Bubba Sparks. Is this some Puerto Rican shit? You know, you know, you know. That's my nigga, Bubba Sparks. Is this some Puerto Rican shit? This is playing on Puerto Rican. This is playing. This makes me look like you're Puerto Rican. Dominicans, you fucking Dominicans. I see you, motherfucker. 
Like it's IQ. Yeah. 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 The IQ is you. God damn it, you better clap too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. go ahead. You remember, you know, because me and Bubba you saying wild that's tough, right. and I used to that's tell right. you how me and Bubba was wild, cool, and right. all that. That's you crazy. Know, I know Bubba from before Bubba even had his deal, pretty much, and all that. Mm-hmm. So um, me and Bubba went way back, and then Bubba was like best friends with Rico Wade, pretty much. That was like one of Rico his right hand mans, and then you know we all became like brothers. So Rico became like my brother, and I was always like Dungeon Family, but not signing them, you know. Right. But it was like I'm Dungeon Family too, pretty much, right. like you know. So I grew up being in the dungeon, running around with them, doing wow. records. They come to the yard. The only boy you know, with the dungeon. Dungeon family. Yeah. Oh man, he should have said that. <laughs> the only spit with the niggas. <laughs> that was hard. That would have been hard. That would have been hard. Well, Yo, but but like. So true. I always fucked with them hard. True, your history is so rich. We actually got records too, though. Me and me you and Future, future from yeah, back then. Yeah, from back then. I think I remember yeah. some they of them. Archive, his his archive mix sound would like, be crazy. Yeah. No, he didn't sound like they Future. Ar- they in the archives. Cause Cause I, I, think I, I think I even remember you telling me, like, yo, I got a record. But his name wasn't Future. That's a fact. That's one. And I remember you telling me Bubba's boy, yeah. like or something like that. Yeah. But now this guy <laughs> is. Dope. What's crazy is I was I was actually in the middle of telling Jay and him to sign him, and now I don't know if they remember because he was me head at that time. So that was his no? artist name. Wait, that time yeah. Did, yeah. He, did he just bring the story for yeah, us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. I actually didn't tell Jay personally, but I told me and Juan. Me and Juan was talking yeah, about. Yeah, Juan been dropping the ball for years. Yeah. Sweet Juan, Juan, Juan. Juan, Juan. <laughs> <laughs> In his defense, I never got to play him for him, but yeah. I, I tried and I, t- I told him about him, but yeah. we never, I never got to bring him up there and never got him get, get I that's, never got to play him for him, so. That's my nigga know. OG Warren, I've been avoiding him since Warren. Rock Lot Familiar. After they, after they fucked up my album, I've been OG Warren, what's up? But I love OG Warren, let me be clear. I love OG Warren, but I was Facts. mad at him for a week. That was it. <laughs> and I kept it longer. Than that because um, I didn't think he was fit to run Rock La Familia. Yeah. That's me personally. But let's move on because I love OG Wan. I got nothing but respect for him. And just because you have a problem, that's the thing is, we have to grow as people. And when I mean grow as people, you, what it is is if you have a certain situation with a person, it doesn't make that person a bad person. It just makes that situation. You know what I'm saying? And we just move on. So OG Wan, I got nothing but love and respect for you. But um, you definitely shouldn't have ran like Rock La Familia. But um. That's, that's just, my OG though. Shout uh, out that's my OG Warren. too. It's, it's like it's you a lot complimented of and then you took it back. I mean, because <laughs> I, I really mean that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, at the end of the day, when you're passionate about something, you can't do business with somebody who's not passionate about what you're passionate about. And I'm not saying he's a bad businessman. I'm not saying Jay is a bad businessman. I, I got off the phone with Jay today. I, um, because I, I, first of all, that's why you were late today. Maybe yeah. In my mind You spoke maybe. to him Got drunk Nah you know what it is I, I be sending all the CEOs The numbers Cause CEOs like numbers mm-hmm. You understand yeah, You understand They like numbers So I sent Jay That 1.22 million You understand You understand <laughs> Nigga asking me Two days later At a weird hour Like a 347 It's weird It's weird yeah. <laughs> Now you gotta pick Jay You gotta pick 3 or 4 Nigga He picked 347 And it was like Congrats <laughs> Uh, from Italy And it was calculated And he said time. from Italy I said Oh yeah I did see you With them jet skis With a helmet on slime <laughs> <laughs> I had to go at it I had to go at it I don't know why I'm fucking up my own money <laughs> I don't know why You like, can't help yourself man. Like, actually, He hit me He was like Congrats Cause I sent him a number like three days ago. He was like, "Congrats!" I was like, "He was like, congrats from Italy." And I said, "Oh, I did see you on the jet skis with the helmet on." <laughs> <laughs> and then he, he hits me back. And he goes, oh, "Pardon my Italy swag." And I, said, <laughs> <laughs> I said, "I said, how you gonna body me on text? How you gonna body me on text?" But uh, this is uh, this is dude. wonderful because he still he's still a funny nigga. He thinks he's funnier than me. I'm gonna body. Listen, Jay, I'm pulling out the PPP. What is that? APB? Yeah. That's you. <laughs> Putting out the APB, we're going to come up here. But true, it's so remarkable. And I'm not saying this because you're my friend. You're a person I consider family. You're a person I consider... People don't come home and just rhyme. Good. <laughs> <laughs> like, I know there's some records that you probably like, that's never coming out. Yeah. But Fact. this first record yeah. was so perfect. Thank you. Like, man. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, Thank I'm I could not leave. When I left your video, 
I could not get that. Cause shorty, I could have bad for it. I was like, oh, I ain't gonna lie. I kept thinking of you. I was like, damn. Because if you in the mirror, because if you in the mirror, you will look stupid. So you gotta look in the mirror. And be like, I feel like I'm looking stupid right now. So look at that. But like. How the fuck you don't have Russell? Uh, like, shit, like, what the man. fuck was you doing? I don't know, was... man. It's God, man. I, I was, I, like I said, man, all graces and all power to God, man. Like, I feel like, I don't know, I just got put in a great situation where I had great young talent around me that just gave me that vibe. Nah, that's true. What, you that's being humble. Came out. Let's keep it 100. How right. the hell you don't have... Like, there's people who come on off beat. Right. Like, God bless Sean. We love him. We love Shine. We gonna go yeah, to Belize. Like, that's true. Man. We gonna go to Belize to get Shine. Listen, Elliot Wilson and them niggas shitted on you. They did a phone call with yeah, this nigga. We ain't doing phone calls. We'll go there. We gonna go and there. film coming home. Shine, we got a we got a we got a show on Costa Rica. Come to Costa Rica. I don't know. This is the right. But his first record. Yeah. And I love Shine again. Let me reiterate that we love Shine. Yeah. But so many people shitted on his first record. And I'm gonna tell you the truth. So many people was waiting to shit on you. Yeah. That, those records, I mean, yeah. that that rumor never came out. How yeah. the hell is you? We got a lot more. You too, missed huh? eight years. Yeah. But yet and still, you fit in 2016. That is a perfect thing to do. Yeah. I don't understand that. Like, when you sitting in that cell, man, another type of hunger comes out of you, man. You know what I'm saying? So I just, oh, I, another thing is, I always felt like I never. There's always been so much drama and so much other stuff around me where it was more about mm. my story and more about the drama and beefing with this one and beefing with that one and this and that that we never really got to what mm. I really do. Took which away is from the music. Be an entertainer, which yeah. is to make music. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So you know me personally, yes. so you know how talented that I am. Yes, I do. But a lot of the world, the world you know, know. doesn't really know because they just mm. know me from little mixtape work that you know just was little mixtape records. They never really got to hear my album and what I right. really, really do. Right. You know what I'm saying? So we just trying to get to that. So I just came home and I said, we're going to put all that to the side and we just going to get to the music and get to the bag. I'm not going to lie. One day I, I met with True. He was in Jersey. This nigga played me his old album. And then he asked me, he said, what you think? But he blew me away. So I was like, I'm going to get back to you on that. <laughs> He's the only unsigned nigga with better features than a signed nigga. And more, like, like I got to always commend you because... See, you're not shocking me. <laughs> but the thing is, you're shocking the new me. What mm. I mean by that is, I'm a new person too, as well. Like, I sat around, and these people don't want to hear from me no more, so fuck making music. Fuck y'all, motherfuckers. All right? I'm just saying, this is me. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm ready. But I'm going to throw workers out. I like, to sign, I like to sell like five, ten thousand. It's pretty good. The checks is pretty good. Like, but I'm not, I'm sorry. But, the, but I'm not trying, I'm not trying to go full-fledged in music because they, they were tired of hearing me at one point. At one point, people are going to become tired of hearing you. I don't give a fuck who you are, whether you Nas, Jay, you got to know when to take a break. Yeah. You gotta know when to step aside. You gotta know when to say that the music controls it, and then you gotta go with the music. You never know, see them guys that be like, "That's not hip hop." Like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> like, like, these My guys be like, 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 like your new record. Your new record is so new sounding. Yeah. But a person just gotta see you to say that nigga's hip hop is a motherfucker. Well, He's doing what the time permits him to do. Well, but if one of them dudes would say. That's not hip. I would smack the shit out of him. Headbutt him. Like, I ain't even smacking him. I'm not even smacking the nigga. I'm gonna headbutt the nigga. Boom! It's like, oh shit. Oh shit, but my head hurt too. I'm sorry. We both lost. We both lost. We both lost in this shit. But this shit is crazy for me to see you be in the time. Because obviously, when you. And I'm not trying to bring up Prodigy to disrespect him, but he didn't answer my text. Um, I hit the nigga. I was like, damn, you squash it with you like. You should, you should definitely holler at me. I, I never even touched you. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> Why y'all laughing? I was trying to be funny. Sorry. But, so I'm, say, I'm sitting back and I'm saying, damn, true. And I'm like, like you were more in your bag than I was. And what I'm trying to say is, it's about the flows nowadays. Back yeah. then, it was about the lyrics. Yeah. Now it doesn't get you. You could you, 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 you say you could say Cheerios, Cheerios, uh, Rosarios, 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 and, yeah. and people would be like, "Woo!" But back then you had to say. Back then you had to say, "Snuff Jesus." You had to say, "Shit." 
But nowadays, it's like oh. simpler, but it's about the flow. So as, although it's simpler, it's actually harder yeah. for a guy who was raised on the 90s like you. Like I, I see the footage of you, you was like, I'm only playing, you know what I'm saying, certain music, such and such, such. And then and you, you named it, and then you said, and then I'm only playing me and Saigon shit. Like I seen a, a footage of you. Yeah. So how the fuck can you adapt to this new generation? My 14 year old son, man, he he on the way and all, man. All right, let's, let's big him up. What's his I, name? Let's big him up. Sire, man. Sire, 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 man. Yeah. Sire, Sire, come on, come hang out with me for a little while. Yo, they got you right, yo. Facts. Yeah, and you see me yesterday. Yesterday, I was like, Spirit see me. It was like, yo, yo. I was like, listen, <laughs> I want to support True Life. It's not about me getting in the video. I want him to know that I'm here for support. I gotta thank you though. You know why? You uh, help. You help. You help make that movie. So young you know why? Yeah, cause uh, it wouldn't happen if, if I wouldn't have known Spiff through you. Let's make some noise, man. Right <laughs> Yo, but I looked at he. He really got a budget. I don't know what it is. I think the mogul tree is popping. Yo, hide the cars, hide the cars, hide the cars. You see the guy? Block the windows, man. Is that Billy out there? Block the windows, man. That's my nigga right there. Come on, come on. We drinking all my liquor, but come over here and shout to me, bro. You know you're my nigga, right here. It's my. Hey, yo, do you remember off the rip video shoot? You almost went to jail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, ye
You know I'm bad penny. So he's like, he was introducing me. He's like, this is my guy. I was like, oh shit, I ain't family no more. Damn it. It's my guy. It's my guy. I'm petty. But yo, but listen, but but listen, man. I, I was so proud of the way you came home. I was so proud of uh, what you did at the Breakfast Club, what you did at Sway. I was so proud Thank because you, a lot of people don't know that, oh, cause you know what's fucked up about you? Your gangster image overshadows everything you ever did righteous. Well, like well, it, it 100% shadows it. Because you used to tell me, nigga, relax. Uh-huh. <laughs> you used to be like, yo, are you gonna throw your whole career? He used to tell me this, but the people don't know that. And I'm like, God damn it. Like that's one thing. What does true life stand for? The the righteous? The righteous unite everybody living in a fantasy environment. That is hip hop. That is hip hop, (laughs) EFS. Make some noise. You and your bed. Let's go. I gotta get you. I gotta get you. This music's my religion, man. That Scram Jones did. Mm. Shout out you gonna, to you gonna love that. That's, that's, that's what told me you was it's mad. That, Scram that Jones was like, yo, yo, yo. You ain't reached out to True Life since he been in jail. And I was like, Scram Jones. <laughs> you know, what the fuck are you talking about, Scram Jones? And then uh, that, that's who. And Scram is a great guy. Uh, we yeah. got Scram. Shout out to you know, Scram you know, he brought his man to get shot in the club the other day. <laughs> his man got shot. It's just, it's, oh shit. Yeah, collapse. It's okay. He said it. He said it on here. You remember? <laughs> he felt mad awkward about it. Yeah, yeah. He broke his man. Um, we won't mention that incident. We're going to get off all that. Because you, you just came home. Whoa. And you're our first parole. Whoa. Let's make some noise for us. Wait, 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 wait. We got Ross. Ross is coming. Yep. And Big Bo, um, you know Big Bo, um, uh, the guy, the old guy with the beard? Black, Black Bo. Black Bo. Yeah. Black Bo. Y'all, Big Black Bo. I, I definitely want to shout out um, Rick Ross, though. I feel yeah, like, no, I, no, I got I to gotta keep it real, man. Yeah, you know, yeah. you, you know more than yeah. anything, like being in this business, how fake niggas is. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And, and one thing about your video. Nah, but it's, it's bigger than that. Like, Did this, you wreck He's it? always just been the same person as long as I've known him. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, we know each other, like, pretty much from the beginning. You know what I'm saying? From the beginning of his career. And Young Sav as well. Big up Young Sav. Yeah, shout out to Young Sav for sure. Definitely right. helped me put that video together and all right. that. Sav is my guy too. We go back right. from the Def Jam days and mm-hmm. all that. But me and Ross go back 05, touring together. Mm-hmm. And I seen him be from, you know, having no album out to, you know, having all the success he's had now. What he's was never Rick changed. Ross he's name? always been the same person. Yeah, he had like a me he had name. What was his Te- name? Teflon. Teflon. Teflon yeah. Yeah. I don't know him from the Teflon days though. We don't yeah, go that far Teflon. back. Oh, yeah. We're gonna hear some funny shit. Um, but I'm just saying he's a genuine That's one. What you know what I'm saying? Niggas can say whatever they want about him. Nah, I, I, got bullets, yes, I got bulletproof. The love thing about the, the thing about this show is, um, Bro, usually man. we have every rapper's liquor on the um table. We have uh, raw shit. We have Diddy shit. We have Dame Dash shit. We have uh, Jermaine Dupri shit. Where's EFN shit? Uh, yeah, EFN. Yeah, he that's fall, my Colombian you fall white right off. there. That's you my shit. That's my shit. So yeah. I'm gonna tell you what you don't got. You missing <laughs> one thing. Some motherfucking Rosani. <laughs> You know I'm dyslexic. I can't pronounce it. Is it Rosarios or Rosanios? Rosanios. Not Cheerios. We don't need Cheerios. Rosanios. So so now, back in the days, I remember seeing a video of you in Las Vegas. Was it correct? Yeah, yeah. You had a butler. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Like, I'm not going to lie. I went to Dubai. They gave me like a six bedroom. I was like, I ain't got no butler. This shit ain't right. (laughs) I was was on my true life shit, right? In my mind. But you had a, it was a video, you, you in Vegas. Yeah. And you woke up and the butler Facts. came to you. Yeah, shout like, out. I was getting a lot of money, but I didn't have the butler service. Shout out to my man Rick, man. We used to go out there and play around a whole it, lot. Was that your homeboy from Alaska? Yeah, yeah, that's the, that's the homeboy. You brought him to my crib. You yeah, remember back yeah, in the facts. days? You brought him to my crib. Shout out. He but, always asking about you, too. But listen, this is what I'm asking is. How did this rose that? Because listen, you, I don't know it if you started, know. It started. It started. It started. It started a trend. Yeah, yeah like yeah. champagne and cereal. So yeah. continue. I'm sorry. Yeah, and other niggas started doing it with liquor and stuff like that. Other mm. other different brands of liquor and stuff I didn't like that. See yeah, that. yeah. yeah they started let's, doing let's it. Let's chop them out so we get the shit on them. Who did it? Who did it? Nah, that's a form of flattery. You know, right, imitations right. of part okay. of flattery. Yeah, so I'm, I'm cool. Mm. They know what it is. So you came home and said, I'm gonna make cereal? Yeah, yeah, ah. we still trying to figure it out. Everybody be asking me, damn, where can I buy it? Yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. We've been playing yeah. around with it, you know what I'm saying? Like, we trying to get the cereal all the way right, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. so it's gonna be out soon, though. Cause I had Norios, you remember? <laughs> yeah, I remember. I had Norios in, what year Uh-oh. was this, um, Grimy? But I never intended on um, selling this shit. Yeah, facts. But like, people still be hitting me like, 
motherfucker, where them Norios at? I'm like, it was a video. It was a video. But you're dead serious <laughs> about this shit. shit. You dead serious, man. You're dead serious about dead this shit. Serious. And the thing about hip hop. See, when you, when, when, you, when you eat cereal, though, with the yeah. um, rosé, rosé is sweet. So mm. with, with the certain cereal, it just tastes sweet. It, it actually mm. tastes good. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It actually tastes good. The sugars and, and the, um, the champagne and all that, it just... It just and you had the Rosario too? Got that too? taste to it. Yeah, you getting a lot of money. I see a chain. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of money. Yeah, talk to the mic. That's pub money, daddy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you got to remember, man. This man got Kanye records, Drake all day, records. All day, all day. What Drake records you said? What Drake records? Nah, I worked on right hand with my man Vinyls and Frank Dukes. You getting a lot of money. You signed yet? Uh, I'm, I'm signing to um, Cold Boys in French. Cold Boys in Let's pick up the Cold Boys in French. And then, and then uh, let's pick up the Cold Boys in French. You know, French Montana is swanky as well, and Tree Gang. You know, we were, we were up in that Tree Gang. Tree so, Gang. So, you know. I, for really those weird. that don't know, Damn. when he say Tree Gang, <laughs> that is called Mogul Tree. That is True Life's record label. That's Fact. True Life's company. That's it's True Life's movement, family. It's a movement. I want to support family. it. Fact. I want to. I want to. Like we got like like maybe four people who listen to us. Four and a half, four and a half. Millions. Nah, y'all got more than that. <laughs> this month we have four million. Goddamn, let's make noise. <laughs> That's from Tom. We I'm in proud the middle. Too, though, ah, thank you, my Facts. brother. We Definitely in the middle y'all, of doing deals Congratulations. with big people. Yeah, we got a Facts. lot of things happening. We got a lot of things up, happening. God we got the up. best engineer in the world. We got the best camera people Has in the sounds, world. Rich Blanc, and we up. went at it. See, the thing is, we went at Kev, it. What up? Like a vid, like a, like what up? Like a um, like we hired the best people that was for the job. Because we didn't want to go to places and hire people, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And get interns that who, who who's mad at their life. We wanted to hire the real shit. That's for and sure. this That's is the sure. thing. Like when you came home, I, I knew my first thing was to do was to fix my relationship with you because as a brother, I was disappointed in myself. Uh, we love. Nah, man. nah. So that, 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 you, that we good. Even if you forgive me, I don't forgive myself. So. Nah, you good. Nah, cause I love. I you, have that like, problem. I said that the other day. Nah, the I, I, part, sometimes I ask God to forgive me, and right. I just I just don't realize that He already has. I just haven't forgiven mm. myself. So that's a, you know, you gotta work with me. I'm I'm, I'm still a, a, I'm still in progress. You know but what I'm saying? Every day I want to be a better person, and the one thing that I did, or that we did correct. Like I sat down with my brother um, Diego. I don't know where Diego is at. He's probably uh, rolling a blunt somewhere. Out. He's drunk. He, he got fucked, drunk he fucked up. We're blaming him. Yeah, it's his, it's his fault. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. What happened today? Well, I sat down with Diego and we was talking, and it was like the one thing that I did in life that was one hundred percent, and I didn't slack and I didn't do nothing was drink champs. Mm, like so. I had the I had the vision. And when I say I, I'm talking about EFN dope, too. Dope, I'm just speaking. Dope. But we had the vision, and I look back at it, I look back at it today, and I was like, we didn't slack on that one point. No. Because I looked at the podcast, this motherfucker been telling me to do a podcast for two years, this, this motherfucker. And He's, the concept he, for five years, yeah. we, had, we had Dream Champs We had for Dream Champs for five years. As an idea. <laughs> Maybe longer than five years. Oh, I stopped. That's dope, bro. <laughs> yeah, and I held down the social right, and the stop. website. All all right. Right. Yeah, the what, I always tell, what I always tell people, don't dream because you wake up from dreams. Mm. Being a visionist, you know, it starts with your visions, yeah. man. The power visionary. of God's in the mind, so be a visionary. Think, just just envision yourself where you want to be. So that's y'all had that vision and y'all kept on nah, we had, we kept that vision and it came to going. life. And that's what it's all about. And I sat in that cell mm -hmm. and was envisioning myself doing these records, was envisioning mm. Mogul Tree. Mm. I was envisioning saying Cha Ching and having everybody say Cha Ching! I like you Cha Ching! Cha -ching. And Tupac! You know now I, like that. I get I, 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 I get I get I got fans across the world that where I never traveled to, never had an album out, no. and I got fans all throughout Europe, Greece. You no, know, you all, all had the, fans in Europe. Europe I was trying to know what I'm the saying. They, before they, you went there, remember? But what I'm saying is they all doing the cha ching and all that. I'm cha ching. Like, it just doing it right? out because I was doing it in my head in my cell, and I remember telling one of my homies that was locked up. I was like, "Watch, I'm gonna make everybody do this shit." Yeah, listen. They, and they doing it. You're a legend, my so brother. So it starts with visions, man. Being a visionary, power of God. Because what you just said makes me feel like you don't think you're a legend. Do you think you're a legend? You're a legend, my brother. I'm just a regular nigga, man. You want me to break down how you're a legend? <laughs> break it down. Break it down. Listen, break people don't survive what you've been through, and if they do survive what you've been through, they don't come home on beat. Yeah, <laughs> something loose after that. I don't even know why y'all laughing. I'm dead serious. <laughs> like they don't come home on beat. They don't come home connect. Like you came home, your first record because you prison can break your spirit. You is know that with Rick Ross. Oh, 
Like, like, let's, let's. I told Ross yesterday that I, I felt like that was God too. Like I don't know, it was just meant for me and him to have that look and for us to do that. Like, but it's you know, as well, because we go wild. Bro. I don't want you to stop ever. I don't want you to never not give yourself props. Well, and if you don't want to give yourself props, I'm, that's what I'm here for. You know what I'm saying? I'm the half Puerto Rican black motherfucking assassin drink champs. Bro. We just hung. That's of, all. Woke up out of fucking. I don't know what you poured me, twin. By the way, <laughs> what the fuck did <laughs> you want? Huh? What, what is that? <laughs> Duck so piss. That, that's that, that's that's lemonade. That's ginger ale. Oh, ginger ale, yeah. nigga. That ain't club soda. But um, <laughs> but you like, man. There's no way. I just want to support your movement. I want to um, pause. I pause. It. I want to be behind you. I want to um, I want to continue whatever you whatever you do. And if you maintain independent, then we can play your record song here. Because if you're not independent. Uh, or, or what other artists We can't play the records Because the, their, their labels Will sue us This is, a, this is 100% okay. facts And like we go through it With CBS right CBS be yeah, like Yo do you own this record I'm like yeah bitch yeah, It's come CBS on. Come on It's yeah. CBS Go ahead Emily I'm just playing <laughs> <laughs> did, did I say the real name I'm sorry I'm out I'm out She gets like. true life Let's play true life like. <laughs> 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 No but then they, <laughs> But they be hitting me But what I'm saying is This is the first time True life that a person that's of the industry. This is this this is uh, what's that show? Charles Barkley, Shaquille O'Neal, and Kenny Smith does. This is inside the hip hop. Uh, yep. This is not inside the NBA. So rapping right. is DJ. This right. is inside the. Me and him are the new Eric B and Rock Kim. I like the vibe the too. Yeah, yeah, the listen, vibe this is dope. true life. Dope. Anytime dope. you want. And my nigga, your, your name is mad hard to pronounce. I'm sorry. Does it again? Velis. 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 I thought it was Various. I'm wild. You can call me Disco like everybody else. I call you V. Disco. Disco? Disco, yeah. disco. You know I used to take disco biscuits. You know what that is? Nah. <laughs> That's an ecstasy. Just take ecstasy. Uh -huh. <laughs> disco! I'm not gonna lie, I had an ecstasy problem at one point. <laughs> <laughs> Being from New York, you already know ain't too much coming out from up top, man. So right, we trying no. to, you know, support home base. How the fuck you come home crazy. and you find Some niggas like, how the fuck you, why you always pushing that nigga? Why you always saying his name? Bellas. You know, you say that nigga name, you Bellas. say your... Word, man, I just feel like, you know, he the future, man. He the young, he the, mm. he the, he the young guy, man, that's, that's going to do it for the town. You know what I'm saying? So I yeah. want to see all the, all, the, all the guys, you know, from the town win and, 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 and that deserve it. You know, and I, I, I know that he's a star and he got the talent and I want to see him win. So any way that I can assist him win, the same way other people assist me um, to win. Nicole signed Bellas. I want to do that back. Yeah. Let's make some noise yeah. for Bellas, yeah. goddamn. <laughs> Was it important yeah. after you came home to see Hove? Was it important? Um, or, or it was just something you, like, I, I mean, you break it down for me. Because I seen the picture. It looked it, it looked like y'all was having a good time. Um, but I just, you, you know. You sound jealous. <laughs> no, I'm, I, I, I'm actually. I want this nigga to win, so I, I will be jealous if the be right honest, thing. We, we, ain't we, we, we didn't right. we didn't chop it up too long. You know what I'm saying? We didn't right. chop it up too long. He had his own little thing going on. I popped up there. Me and OG Wong kicked it for a little while. Right. Kicked it with Hove very shortly. Big you know old OG Wong. Okay. Yeah, we kicked it shortly. We ain't really getting into too much. You know what I'm saying? But I was just mm. telling him where my head is at, where my mind is at. Right. I ain't even played him no records or nothing. Like, right. you know, we got some. Cause that was like the man. first week you came home, correct? Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. So it was real early, real right. early. I had one record that I had did. Right. Or it was and you played it for him or no? I, I ain't played for him. I played right. it for Juan. Right. I got a little too excited though. I jumped on his desk and all type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Wait, wait. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You got to describe the situation. Yeah, so, <laughs> all right, what happened? I got a little too excited. <laughs> like, you like home and you get fresh out. Yeah, I don't know, man. Right. Some just told me to take a leap. Right. I just leaped. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And what was Jay Thomas doing? What was, was he doing? He was looking at me like, oh, oh, oh this nigga crashed. This nigga lost his mind. That's what's up, yo. The desk probably worth like a million dollars and jumping all over this nigga. Because they got a gold couch or something like that? Nah, Lenny S, S, man. Lenny S. Invite the gold drink couch. champs up there, yeah. goddammit. But um, True Life, man, we're so proud of you. Yeah. We want you to continue the success. Mm -hmm. So you got the, the new joint with Velas. I said yeah. it right? Yeah, yeah. I'm fucking good. Yeah. All right, you got the new joints with Velas and Rick Ross. Yeah. I seen the video. It's very rich. 
Very rich. You had models. I can't even afford models. I'm not, I don't know if you, if, when you went away, that's not what we, how we do videos no more. We don't do models. Chicks with we don't do cars. We don't rent spots. It's all renegade shit. So when I came to you, I said, I, I walked in the video. I was like, did, 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 did the nigga sign a dev jam? Like, <laughs> nigga had, like, he, he really dumb. did say that. <laughs> he said, what the fuck, man? Look like dev jam. You got a dev jam I'm budget. Just serious. My, my, my video is 1500 right now. <laughs> <laughs> We don't get none of that. You gotta bring your own water. You gotta bring your own makeup. You gotta bring your own models. This nigga, you came home. Your first video was better. Like you spent more money than my last. Um, I want, let me be modest. Uh, like fifty five. <laughs> like, nah, this is serious. Like I look, and you know Jay is my Jay Thomas is my like. I got nothing but love for him. It's Even your bro. brother, I, I, I know, bro. I know, you know, it's up in the air. Um, uh, what's Debo? Nah, Debo, I know, I know. Nah, nah, but it's not I, up in the air. We good. That's I'm big enough, Debo. Bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But your people, and they really laid it out for you. Like I, 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 don't, I just want you to understand yeah. that mm -hmm. niggas don't come home and shoot a video of that caliber. I've been home and I ain't shooting a video of that caliber. <laughs> One, because I'm cheap, and two, I'm petty. <laughs> God damn it, y'all spent the budget on that shit. These niggas had the Ferraris. I don't even know if a Ferrari door lift up. Like, cause, cause I ain't getting that much money. But um, what what did they have? The Spider, they had the Ferrari. They had the two, yeah, listen, first of all, they had the two rapes just kissing each other. That's it. Like the rapes were just kissing each other. I'm trying to rent a rape for a month right now. This is let you, this is let you know. They, they, they were gonna charge me 10 bands. God damn it. No, no, that's a hip hop army. I need this credit. Who got good credit? Who got good credit? Any nigga that got good credit, I got five tries. All right, we try. I want to say five bands. Let's start at one. Let's start at one, and then we get to five bands. But you like, man, I'm so proud of you because so many people come home bitter. So many people come home and they want to blame this guy. Some people say this it was this person's fault. You came home, you didn't blame nobody. I seen you on that Breakfast Club. You even bigged up the family that you was accused of, and yeah. that was just oh, so wow. honorable to me. To me, it's like, that's what a real nigga does because you didn't try to get, get money off the crime and then you said that you actually didn't do it. And that, to me, is what a real man is supposed to be. Yeah. A man is, a, because there's so many people who did your situation, came home and been like, yo, I got a body, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you come home the exact opposite. Yeah. You, and, you come, and you come home the exact opposite in the time where black lives matter. And what I said, the reason why I say black lives matter is because when you're Latino, you're black. Right. I don't give a fuck what the fuck you, I don't give a fuck who raised you. Latino and black is the same culture. Yeah, for sure. And for you to come home and to be still kicking righteous shit and still be like, there's, there's, we, everybody should salute you. Everybody yeah. should be my, I can only came here the other day and he's running for mayor. Right. Of South that Beach. Of wow. oh, South Beach. That's the biggest nigga off, goddammit. Put it in your mouth, nigga. It's running for me. Of South, South Beach. Beach. And I be for sure. The king of KOD. I can't vote, but I'm gonna make sure everybody around me votes. <laughs> Fact. Swear to God. Fact. So for you to come home and you to be this guy, I wanna salute you. I wanna commend you. I wanna let you know that. Drink Champs, uh, EFN, DJ, uh, DJ Nori. Uh, DJ Nori. <laughs> you flipping it. That's dyslexia for sure. <laughs> but we gonna fully support your movement. We wanna get behind you. Pause, pause. Hold on, hold on, hold on. How's everybody doing? That's Twin Moms. Twin Moms, isn't it? Come over here, Moms. Come over here, Moms. Come over here. It's Twin Moms. Say hi to your people. I seen you on Instagram. It's the first time I met you. Say hi. All right, what's your name? Lupe. Look, I didn't get that, but it was hard. It was hard. Lupe. Lupe. Super Dominican. Yes. Yo, big up to the Dominicans. So I want to big you up for coming home and being uh, uh, because so many people could have blamed somebody else, and you came home and you really just took your shit. Yeah. Man. But how does that how does that attitude even derive? Like, um, like I said, I had to, a, lot, a lot of looking in the mirror to soul do myself. Searching. You know, oh. I had to dig deep in my soul and um. Like what he said, I had to soul search, and I, I don't know. You know, it's a different thing. Like I said, when you sitting in there facing life, you just I don't know. 
And you got degrees in there too, right? Yeah, yeah. Because you, you definitely came home skinny. That was real. Yeah. Like, how you come home skinny? And I was like, this thing came home skinny to me. I got, so, I, I, I had a chance, you know what I'm saying? I, I had a lot of time up there to work out and get diesel and all so that. So you, 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 you was know. going to the yard, but you were going to the law library? Nah, I wasn't doing the law library thing because um, right. I was already up north, I'm talking about, like, with, mm -hmm. the, with, with that. So I was already sentenced and all that. So I was mm -hmm. just doing my time. But I just felt like I wanted to use my time wisely and try to better myself as a person and, and mm -hmm. try to do something positive with my time mm -hmm. and something that was going, I could take out of there with me that was positive and could stay with me. So mm -hmm. I felt like working out, that's cool. But um, I think that hitting these books is a little better. So mm -hmm. I decided to go that route. And once I got one degree, I said, fuck it, let me... Actually, I got my high school diploma in there. I wow. got my GD first. Mm -hmm. I didn't even have a high school diploma. Mm -hmm. So I got my GD and then I went to college and I got two different degrees. Let's make some noise. Yeah, yeah. Let's make some noise. What were the degrees? Business management and um, biblical studies. Mm. Biblical studies. Oh, yeah. I read that. Oh, you were yeah. studying Jesus? Yeah, all yeah, that. That's we all. love God. Right, we ask everybody this question. We love God. Don't be uncomfortable. I've yeah, always you're going to be uncomfortable. Yeah. So, <laughs> you ask like everybody this question. <laughs> sounds like <laughs> You just came home from eight years. Yes. Yeah. You was horny as a motherfucker. Facts. Do you eat ass? <laughs> <laughs> you you're Puerto Rican, so I'm not going to ask you if you eat pussy. Because it's here. Tell me, tell me, tell me. You ask you know, me know. this question, then you don't remember the records me and you eat pussy and all that. Oh, we have a the wrong freaky nigga. You was asking the wrong You like to eat pussy, yeah. and then that nigga said on the record, he said, "I eat more pussy than Missy Elliott." Yo, that was the reality. Yeah, the reality. Yeah, yeah. What's that? Crazy. I see Missy Elliott yeah, yeah. recently. Yeah. She still ain't let it go. <laughs> <laughs> what happened, Nori? I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I like, I like, I don't even remember that. <laughs> Wait, what about that exactly? What you were talking about? <laughs> Yo, yeah, yeah, so, uh, yo, yo, uh, 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 you do eat ass? <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we haven't established that yet. Come on, you gotta have fun. You gotta have fun with this, too. Yeah, it's okay. I don't know, I might have missed a couple of licks and hit the wrong spot. <laughs> <laughs> After dinner, I'm all, yeah. Yo, we had 50 here. 50 we went had, in, 50 <laughs> went in. We had 50 here, and I swear to God, we didn't even have to ask 50. 50 knew that we always asked everybody to eat ass. And he just got up. He was like, yo, all of you motherfuckers eat ass. He's like, you relax. You're making me more uncomfortable. But, yo, but listen, as a Puerto oh, Rican, shit. It's, it's, you are know, the first Puerto Rican we have yeah. on the show. 100%. I'm Puerto Rican. I'm proud to be Puerto Rican. Rican. I'm sorry. I'm, 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 um, I was about to say nigga Rican, but I don't like that term. Cause don't it feels like I'm dissing my black side. Yeah, gunplay too. Gunplay is half Puerto Rican. Gunplay. I seen gunplay what's yesterday. The, what's the other side? Jamaican? I never knew Jamaican. that. Jamaican oh, Puerto Rican. Yeah, yeah. Fabulous is half Dominican. Yeah, yeah. Fabulous, I seen you wear the Capone and Noriega War Report shirt and we respect that. Mm. Yep. But what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to ask you, Fabulous, to start repping your Dominican side. Yeah. Sure. Because we got love for you, Mr. Fabulous Life. Joel Santana, oh. we heard you half something. Yeah. Forgot. So let me leave it at all. <laughs> Jim Jones, everybody, a rapper annoyed. AZ. AZ. Yeah. All you half Latinos. <laughs> they wasn't repping in the 90s, man. They wasn't yeah. rapping. That's the reason why they're sitting back and they're like, I'm saying, not the people that is good, but the people that is not good is sitting back and saying, why is Nori popping? You know what I'm saying? Now that I'm, I'm getting money again, so I can wear a $30 watch. It's fact. It's fact. It's, but they're sitting back, and you know why? It's because I never denied my Latino side. Right. Because and when, when hip-hop began, there was a black guy, there was a black guy, and there was a Spanish guy who was breakdancing. Whoa. No, Ryman too, Charlie Chase. All right, but... I'm just saying. DJ. <laughs> I'm sorry. MCs, DJ, all so that. So because hip hop is not a black thing, hip hop is a black and Latino thing, and to me, black and Latino is the same exact thing. But you are yeah. first Puerto Rican. You are first Latino. You are first well, Puerto Rican. What's up? Yeah. 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 Which I thrust the half Cuban part out. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Had a retirement. Yeah. Yeah. Had a retirement. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because he, he didn't like Fat Julie Mark Bevers in his Cuban yeah. side. I was the same thing. I was like, yo, oh, yeah, you're yeah. Cuban, man. Yeah, yeah. He's Cuban, B. You know that? 
<laughs> it's Cuban, baby. Okay, that's you know Q- how many Cuban niggas you was locked up with in jail? Mm. Not too many, though. Not too many. Did you go to the mosque, <laughs> yeah, I went to the mosque. You did? That's yeah. what's up. Those are those, yeah, that's, like, facts. that's like a peaceful place in jail. Nah, you know, I was always into back in the days. I told you I used to be God body, so it always I was always oh. intrigued by learning different things about you mm. know, religion and different things. So I dipped and dibbled and dabbled in all religions because I had to. You know, I just don't take nothing for face value. You understand right. what I'm saying? So, so what's the I'm next thing for true all. life right now? Now true life is home. You done shot a million dollar video. In my mind, it's a million dollars. Yeah. Don't even dispute me. Like, we gonna spread the rumor. True Life just shot a million dollar video. Let's make some money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I was, I was sitting there like, Jesus. I, I, I had to hit my man, Mr. Lee. Like, yo, do you see this nigga video? It got, it got like 1,200 cars. We had 12. Here's 1,200. So what, what, is the, what is the plan? Mogul Tree, we get that part. Yeah. We get that you're building independency. Yeah. But um, so what's the plan? Are you are you ever want to be signed or have distribution, or you just want to just nah, keep yeah, it this yeah, way? Yeah. Nah, we gonna get independent it right. Independent is hard, my brother. Nah, we gonna get it right. The distribution. We right. like I said, we in the middle of figuring it out. You know, we in talks with different people, so we we figuring that out. But right, right. now, I just want to concentrate on making music and having fun with it. You know, because right. if you ain't having fun with it, then it don't make sense. And to owning do it. it too is the yeah, important part. Owning so that, it. right now, I'll be honest with you, I feel like I'm having the most fun I've ever had in my life recording because for the first time I'm putting God first and I'm putting all the negativity mm. and all the bullshit to the side so I don't have none of that vibe around me like mm. we don't have the vibe like you know before we couldn't vibe out and just go to a party and just you know we need to have a good time it was you know guns on us and we thinking about you know it's just a whole nother vibe that come along when you live in that life you know what I'm saying right, like right. you can't have fun looking over your shoulder so now you know even though I may have beef or so whatever. I don't look over my shoulder no more. I let God do that. So it's, it, I ain't even tripping on that. It's, it's, I don't walk in no fear. Whatever's going to happen is going to happen. And, you know, I'm just having fun with the music. So I'm having the most fun I've ever had in my life in, in, in this era right here and doing these records I'm doing now. Let's make some noise for that man having a head on the show. That's real shit right there. So you squashed it with Prodigy. What is, um, what is up any other um, past beef you would like to get over? Anybody that you know that feels like Cam I got Ron, any, 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 well, I ain't got no issues with Cam. I know, but I'm saying no that issues. if you was to see Cam, would you? Would you? It's all love, yeah. you know. It's, it's, it's Cam Ron, on we love you. Love. True life said he ain't got no beef with you. True life, love everybody, man. I don't and got Cam, no beef with nobody. Get shout out, on shout yeah, out to Cam Ron, chance. Jim Jones. I don't care about the bird shit and all yeah, that. Like, yeah. you know, like you know, the fans Big be trying to antagonize me a lot. Like, oh, he called you a bird. Like, I'm like, are you serious? But that's how I knew you was a grown man. That's how I knew because. Am I supposed to even answer back to that? <laughs> like, because, you know, you know what the crazy shit is? It's how I knew you as a grown man because I know the old true life and I, I got to get to know the yeah, new true life. Yeah, you already know. I got to get to know the new true life. Yeah. So when I seen that, I was like, damn, because, you know, I had just seen Jim recently and I yeah. wanted, we were actually wanted Jim on here, but I was like, damn, I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't want that to but go that you know that how route. most beefs really happen is through right. a lot of entourages and a lot of the right. people you got next to you and a lot of, you know, like. Misunderstandings. You know. Too. Miscommunication, but yeah. it's a lot of the times it's different people that you have around because you know when most people not. I was like I said, but at the time I, I wasn't, I wasn't as approachable neither. You know what right. I'm saying? Like my mom was just not really right. there. Like I wouldn't, I wasn't willing to do the nah. type. Of, you know what I mean? Like you. I don't know. It's just a different vibe. Like you know what I'm saying? Tell you a story about don't you. Die, like, don't die. One day when I first met my wife, who's my wife right now. I first met my wife one time. Oh, I said one yo, time. Yo, not to cut you off. Yeah. A lot of the homies get mad at me though, and, and yeah. oh, some of them, because you know, not everybody feeling how I feel or think they how ain't I think. Your so even, no, no, they they feel that, but they be like, yo, you gotta tell these niggas though, but it can still happen. <laughs> right, 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 like, right. Chill, man. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Don't forget to say that right. part though. Tell them it can still happen. So they know. Right. <laughs> like relax, man. You know what I'm saying? I like the positive me too, like, but I gotta oh, give a story man. real quick. Yeah, one day, yeah, I ain't gonna cut you off, man. One day when I first met my wife. Like, like, um, like you know, I still don't drive. I still to this day don't drive. And and, and true, true, true was true. Not a dr- was driving me around, but one day true just called me, and there was a dude that was just beefing with me. Like he was just, it was like a random dude just on the block, like just beefing with me. True pulled up with the AK, like yo, we at? So, I said, yo, true. That was the old, that was the old Spanish guy from the liquor store. Come on, they got him. That's how real you are, though. Like the people need to know that 
that you never even hit me. You knew where I was at, and you came in. That's just who you are, and I just have to appreciate that. I have to salute that, and I have to always support anything that you're ever doing. Wow. And that, and that, and that's one hundred percent. Even I if, it. even if you, even if we and you ain't never speak, I would always do that because you're a person that I want to win. Thank you. There's a lot Thank of people you. that I don't. It's not that I don't want them to win. That's not the police, right? That that sounded that sounded a little crazy. Uh, <laughs> but it's not. It's like you're not, you're you're not only a person I want to win. I want to help win. You know what I'm saying? Because you're a genuine guy, and it, we don't have too many people like you left. And the thing about it is, if we don't represent for you now, it might be over. Like not not for you, but I'm saying it'd be over for our kind. Yeah. So I always want to step up. I always want to do it. You said that you're going to be a, a CEO. So is is Zealous going to be one of your artists? Did I say that right? Zealous, yeah, yeah, yeah. Zealous. Nah, Zealous. Zealous. Zealous is just, I just want to see Zealous win. Whatever I got to do, you know, we'll figure that out. You're going to be the next future, Zealous, right? Yeah. I'm just trying to be, the be next bigger than future. Oh. The next Zealous. 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 You're going to be the next Zealous. Talk to the, the next Zealous. Zealous, man. Yeah, yeah, I'm just trying to be the next you're Zealous. You're the first Zealous. Zealous. First Zealous. Mm. You know. Mm. Do the dance here. Do the little, 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 little disco vibe. Yeah, 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 yeah. I ain't gonna lie. That's why I can't. I can't come out with this generation because my rhythm is all fucked up. <laughs> I be looking in the mirror. Rhythm. I be looking in the mirror like this is some ninety shit. They ain't gonna feel like that. you know what I mean. But true. The Rosarios. Rosanios. Rosanios. Yeah. So is it gonna be available soon? Yeah. That's yeah. Be in Walmart soon. and um. Shit, we might have that shit everywhere. We don't know what we we ain't, we ain't figured it all out yet just yet. But we we got some big things in the making with that facts. We it. actually got distributors hollering at us and all that, like, trying to get I'm it in the stores you, I got and a all Texas that. Guy. We, we got some we got some big people hollering at us and all that. Like, seriously, like real serious people hollering at us. But right. it's all good. We just chilling. God bless true life. Just for to the here. Bad, God man. bless the drink champs. Yeah, shout and out I, to my brother D on Free My Brother 730. You already know what it right. is. The 730, I haven't seen him in a long time. Yeah. yeah. Uh Debo. Yeah. I said D Boy earlier. I'm retarded. <laughs> Debo. Yeah, shout like, out to Big my brother. That's my nigga. Big up Mogul Tree. You already know. Big up uh Warehouse. Warehouse. All day. Big up Warehouse. They, they just signed Manolo Rose, correct? Yeah. And you were part of that, right, Jay Thomas? Come over here, Jay Thomas. Stop being a shot. Look at you, you got the bar chain. Come over here. <laughs> <laughs> Jay Thomas, tell them niggas what y'all doing, man, at, at, at Warehouse, Mobile Tree. Well, we doing everything right now. We, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm in a good place right now with everybody, man. Mm -hmm. With my brother right here, with mm -hmm. his brother, with right. Fresh, my brother right there. Fresh, my nigga. I own money. He don't even care. Everybody, man. <laughs> right. Miami, we did a thing. We did our thing this weekend. I want to uh -huh. shout out Velis Miles and our whole Mobile Tree Tone, Porilla. Everybody that came out, man. Right. And you too, and, my and nigga. Shout, and shout your Instagram out, because you, you the CEO. J. Thomas. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. That's with an underscore or anything? Nah, nah. I feel like you got an underscore in your name somewhere. <laughs> no? Like we changed it up. I changed it up? Uh, yeah. Yo, Yo, shout man. out to my nigga Brian, too, man. You already Brian. know what it is, man. Brian. Where Brian at? He Brian ain't here somewhere, man. Okay. Actually, actually, before we start a new segment, you don't even September know September 10th. But hold on. Let me shout out September 10th. What's we're doing that? a Drink Champs weekend. We are. We September are. Um, 10th. On, uh, you can hit Mr. Lee at Star Rock Entertainment. We're gonna do a great event, and I also want to big up Eight and Nine Clothing Store, who always, you know, holds us down. Big up to Ray Eight and Nine. Big up to everybody at Eight and Nine because there's so many people. But go ahead. No, yeah. no, we we start a new Yo, segment. A he new don't segment. even know that. One second, one second. Okay. We we, we wanna we wanna bless you as well. Okay. This is a, a gift pack from the Drink oh! Champs. Right? Oh! So you got a T-shirt, you got a That's shot glass, up. you got uh, Colombian white there, up. you got everything Ooh! there. So. You know what our other guest gets? A five. Thank you. Yeah, there's one thing that I never brought up. Right, yeah. And I'm only bringing this up because we were just talking about this outside. Please. I keep getting catfish wild crazy. Oh. I'm talking about wild oh. crazy for, oh. like, seriously crazy for the last eight, eight, eight years. Eight years. And, I, and, and I was getting thousands and thousands of uh, a mail from different chicks thinking I was going out with them. And I'm like, right. what the oh, hell is this? And right. it was just wild crazy. So I just want to tell these people, man, to be careful out alone. there on the internet. <laughs> no, be careful out there on the internet with all these fake pages going to all these dating sites and stuff like that and you Straight seeing up. pictures of me and I don't care what information because some of the information they get oh I'm so like, you saying some people are, are acting no, they like they really, life no they really really like oh, going hard wow. like taking money from women oh, so some people are catfishing you they using you as a catfish they using my profile no they using my profile to catfish women mm. they've been doing it for a long time though and it's been crazy so I never said that and I just want to let all these women know out there 
like, don't go on these dating sites and stuff like that. You seeing pictures of me and stuff oh, like yeah, that. Right. And let's get this right. It it's the real true site? life. <laughs> uh, I guess because they hit me up with t- sites I don't even know. There's one site called Tag. I was just showing them on my computer, uh, um, on the, on the gram, right. of how I was going back and forth with this one girl. Was explaining to her, and I was telling them the story and stuff. But it was just, it's just crazy. So I'm just trying to tell these chicks, man. It's not me. You're going, you know, be careful on that internet, man. The real true life is my Instagram, man. If you ain't hollering at me on there, then you ain't hollering at me. The real true life is your Instagram and your Twitter? Yeah, my Twitter is the real true life, too. Uh, Snapchat? Snapchat's the real true life, too. Uh. Oh, man. Vela's music on Instagram Uh and Twitter. Spell Vela's music just in case. We got some people. Yeah, V E L O U S. Music. Alright, that's how I would spell it. But yeah, yeah. it's not an I in there? Nah. No, I'm dyslexic oh. in my mind, it's an I. Oh. <laughs> we got drunk yeah. listeners. Yo, one chick said she had naked pictures of me. I said, you got the wrong man, <laughs> baby. I ain't no magic bike in the face ass nigga. You got me twisted, baby. <laughs> I don't know why I think any gigs is behind that, right? There. <laughs> Oh, Thanks. Oh, man. But you, you shout out all your shit? Oh, yeah, yeah. Snapchat, all because I'm king. You know what I'm going to do? Like, my, like, like, not this album. Talk to the mic, my friend. Not this album, but the next album. I'm going to hire like a, a, a nigga like you. Why not so, just me? Now I'm hiring you. Uh, so <laughs> yeah. I like your style. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's what I would have said. That's what I, if a nigga would have said something around me like that. But to make me uh, be new. You know what I'm saying? Like, because um, a lot of times when you've been in the game, like, I'm, I'm going on. Pretty much 20 years, 19. Yeah, no, that's 20 years. Um, 2017 will be officially 20 years. Dude, so, first album. Longer than that. Congratulations, man. Niggas making me bad. Yep, that's all. Niggas supposed to be like, nah, you put the whole thing on there. Yep, that's Next year, 20, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Hire a person. I would have to hire you just to keep me in pocket, keep me in tune, because I want. I the thing is, I don't want to be the old nigga reminiscing about the days of the old days. I want to have music that reflects this time, mm-hmm. but still be me. Yeah. And a person like you can help me out That's with that, my brother. Me, bro. You know what I'm saying? True life, man. I can't thank you enough. But I, we ain't gonna let you go because you know why. <laughs> There's another question we ask. What's all up? Artists. Yeah. We all been hot. We all been fucking. <laughs> <laughs> from, 19, shit. <laughs> from 1997 to 2016, me personally, I had 16 of them. You know where I'm going, right? How many abortions you paid for? Oh, yeah. <laughs> this, is where, this is where we lose all advertisers. Yeah, yeah. Advertisers not fucking Get out of here. Get out of here. Zealous, how many abortions you paid for? None, man. Oh! Y'all niggas, oh, yeah. y'all yeah. niggas is music on them? Stop Strap music on them! <laughs> <laughs> They're responsible motherfuckers, man. Stop music on them! <laughs> They're going to be a rock. Oh, you gotta get, you, oh, you gotta just bust a pile of that guy. You know what's crazy shit is when you bust and you be like, I ain't mean to do that. That was your fault. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Yo, true life. Thank you so uh, much for joining thank us. Thank y'all. Thank you for laughing pleasure. because wow. that was that was that was the thing was about when I seen you on a breakfast club and I seen you on Sway in the morning and I was like they don't know how to talk to my man. <laughs> they don't know how to bring it out of my man. They don't yeah. know because one thing for sure. The people don't know about you. You is one of the funniest dudes <laughs> ever. Like I, you was one of the only dudes, the only other rappers that I would rank on, and he would rank on me right back. Like he wouldn't wait. He'd be like, "What? Like, oh, you, oh, you think my shit was funny?" Like, like, and he would rank on me right back. And uh, and that's that's what this podcast is. Like I told Ja Rule. Uh, that's my nigga. I love Ja Rule. But I told him, I said, I made, I made you cool again. And he didn't really understand what I was saying. Because what I meant, because that's my brother. I love Ja Rule. But what I'm saying is, he didn't understand that his image in the hood after the 50 Cent drama, what it was. And then, when we got down and we sat with him. Nah, that shit was crazy. And we put him in there with Jada Kiss. So many people kept texting us, and say, uh, um, tweeting us, excuse me. And was saying, yo, you made me realize how cool Ja Rule yeah. was it, again. And I tried to tell Ja Rule that, but we was on the phone, so he can't, he can't, he couldn't really understand yeah. that. But that's what this podcast is. It's about showing the side of people that people don't know. 
You know what I'm saying? So, oh. so, I'm, so for the people, by the people. For the people, by the people. And like, like, um, we had Fifty Cent stand here. We had Fat Joe stand here. And all of their reputations preceded them and made, and they, 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 they actually pinpointed situations where their reputations made it worse for them. My whole thing with you is to big you up, not to take away any person you are. Shout out to are. 50 and Joe though. Both yeah, shout out to 50 well, and Joe. Yeah. But my thing is to show how cool you are, to show how funny you are. Because that, listen, when you buy a dude's album, you buy his album. That doesn't mean you invest in, into this artist. But when you watch a dude's interview, you're invested mm -hmm. into the artist. And I'm gonna give you that, young man, because I know you're a young dude, you're coming up. But people don't buy your records from your records. They buy your records from your interviews. It's your personality. Because your records, yeah. whoever you can be, can you, you can be. Like Weekend don't do interviews. Mm -hmm. So Weekend is gonna keep continuing to do who he is, but if his music ever fall down, the radio station will never accept him again because he chose that side. He said, I'm never doing interviews. So he'll go to Toronto, he'll go to such and such, and a big up weekend, because that's a fucking ill stance. And we need you on Drink Chat. <laughs> <laughs> Do one interview. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was like a shameless plug. I see that. I'm so, so sorry. I'm sorry, weekend. I'm sorry. I, I, I need you on hook though, too. But I'm <laughs> sorry. I just, just, just why I'm a foul nigga, too. Uh, <laughs> Whoa. But. I just want to commend you guys. I want to commend what you're doing because it's, it's not a lot of artists that support artists and, 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 and take it from there. And true life, I just want to say welcome home. Thank you. I want to say that I'm behind you in a in a not a, not in a pause way, but um, <laughs> I'm behind you. I want to support. support. I really I really really want you to win, my brother. And I don't give a fuck. I really, really want you to win. I already and I won, want man. you. I'm, I'm, I'm home. I, I want you to win. I want you to win again. I already I want won, man. Like, I can't like, win bigger than that, man. Nah, yeah, when nah. I wake up and I see them Freedom. kids smiles, man, like, I can't I'm the type win bigger than that. I'm the type of nigga you just ran through the marathon. I'm like, do it again. Like, <laughs> like, I just ran 26 miles. I don't care. <laughs> do another one. Because I want you. Because it's like, yo, yo, true. They wanted me dead, my nigga. Facts. They threw me in a graveyard. And the problem is, they threw the dirt. They threw me. What's, what's that shit called? The, um, the grave? Yeah, the grave. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they threw me in the grave. They put the dirt oh, on me. But they forgot to check my pulse. Yeah. I'm Puerto I'm, Rican, I'm, nigga. Yeah, I'm known, I'm known. I'm, I'm, I'm a. You already I'm a, know. I'm I'm digging. Digging. Talk that shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm digging it out there. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> and then the niggas like, oh shit, he ain't here only dig out of this shit. The niggas in my dinner table. Uh huh. We yeah. do on it, and that's what Drink Facts. Chance represent. Drink Chance is the culture for the Facts. culture, hundred percent for the culture. So anytime, Facts. you know what I'm saying. Anytime you guys want to come back, you guys can come back. You can promote your projects. You didn't gotta be hot. I got to get off this damn parole so I can get twisted in a month. Yes, yes. I've been trying to pass. Listen, I every do. other guest, I pass them a blunt and I try to. That, 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 <laughs> that's the thing about. It. But I'm very careful with you because I want you to stay home. Uh, I want you to win. Now we doing everything Zellers. right, man. Shout out to my parole officer too because I know yeah. you watch. Shout out. To, that was awkward. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to him. We've never had a shout out to the parole. Officer. Shout out to the parole officer. I can't. I can't make none of this shit happen without him. You heard? Let's big him up because. Listen, you ain't even supposed to be in another state and let you saying. come through. Facts. But you know what the crazy shit is? I, what I would like to tell your parole officer is I used to smoke bad weed. <laughs> and True would be right in the cipher. And he ain't smoked shit. He just yeah, be like, I don't fuck with him. <laughs> but you, you used to like the it's smell crazy, back they in were the just, days. They were, they were just asking me about that shit early. Somebody <laughs> asked me. I'm like, I never, I never did none of that shit. I never was in a drug. This is the crazy shit. Yeah. Like, True. I was telling them how my perception, well, how people punches. think, like, oh, this nigga crazy, like, he be thinking I be doing all types mm -hmm. of drugs or something. I'm just chemically imbalanced. And thinking you and, yo, I used to be, used to be like, like six of us, like, 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 just sitting there smoking. And True would be right in the middle of this shit. And we keep trying to pass True the blood, and True would be like, I don't fuck with that shit. I'm like, I'm bipolar. Shit. That's the bipolar yeah. in this yo, city. Yo, yo, you didn't even pour a drink. No, you said you gonna finish it. No, I'm gonna finish this drink. Uh oh, oh, you want another one? Yeah, I want another one. Goddamn, big up your moms, man. Come on, that don't even sound right. Yeah, that's my mom. Shout out to Lupe. That's my auntie. That's my auntie. Big up, big up both twins. Yeah. Both of them is here. Frankie and Ellen. Those are my guys. We going to uh, Rockefeller in the summer. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Frankie. Yeah, 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 Frankie. Yeah,
26th to the 30th. Yeah. I know you're leaving on the 29th. Don't right. worry. Don't stop me. But um, <laughs> And then September 10th, we're doing our <clears throat> barbecue slash... Nor uh, well, we, we're going to do it from, starting from September 10th because I'm coming from Hawaii. I need a vacation. Can I have a vacation at EFN? I'll take it. All right, please. So I'm going <laughs> to go to Hawaii from the September 6th or the 5th to the um, ninth, and then I'm coming home to have this barbecue. I want to big up eight and nine for letting us come here once again. Big up Ray, big up the whole staff for eight Make and sure nine. Make sure you get the party packs out there. Make sure you get the party packs. Uh, we're, selling the, the, um, <laughs> we're selling the uh, the the cups. The shot. Uh, I don't even have. I don't even have a shot glass, if you know. No, I got one. Sunny fucking broke all my shot glasses in my house. That I don't know. I'm gonna kick him in his balls Sunny. next time I see him. <laughs> like it's, it's just something I'm gonna just pay somebody just kick him in his ball. Bam. But um, <laughs> but we gotta thank him for being patient today because you was lazy. Yo, motherfucker this is dope. yo, listen yeah. to me. Yeah. The whole team, thank you very uh, much for the team. Where's Popo? Popo's yeah. out there. I see the car out there. Shit, but pa pop yeah. but Popo, thank you, brother. I'm sitting here waiting for my, my my driver Popo to hit me. What the fuck happened to you today, man? Diego, Diego's. Yeah. Diego. <laughs> no, no, we went out to eat. We was having fun. We was drinking. After but the it was like, phone call. It was like 3 o'clock in the <laughs> afternoon. Mind you, he dropped me off. He, you know, I don't drive. He dropped me off. I sat there. And I'm waiting for Popo to call me because it was, it, was it was my driver. That's my guy, Popo. Um, what, is, what is it? I forgot his Instagram. But I'm waiting for Popo to call me. And then what happens is I don't realize my phone is on silent. So I'm like, all right, let's just fall asleep. <laughs> And then I'm looking. He was killing And then twin, phone. twin, that's big up DC no, twin. No, he, he, nah, he, he said, said he knocked day. on my door. He said, you about to shoot me. And I almost flipped him. I was like, what the fuck you at, my guy? I didn't invite you. And he was like, <laughs> yo, true the life. The fuck, true life. I was like, oh, shit, I didn't even wash my face, my nigga. <laughs> and usually I wake up, I walk around, I was like, oh, shit. I was like, I grabbed my keys, yeah, locked my door, and I just came right here. <laughs> he never but, does that. That was, that was. <laughs> yeah, nah, because, you know, 100% is, you know, when a person messes up with me, they don't have another time to mess up with me again. That's just with me. And when and that's all I thought about. I was like, I don't want this nigga to ever think no, that I good. ever we front No, no, I know, I know you modest and I know you humble, but it's about me. Facts. Like that shit bothered me because I really do love you as a person. Like you my nigga. Like me and you, you, you ate in my crib. You used to come to my crib. We used to come <laughs> to each other. Like we used Facts. to hang out. So I apologize as a man. And this is this is me as a man. I don't give a fuck with anybody else. Look at me. I don't give well, a fuck if them niggas because the fans be fucking with me. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't give a fuck. The fans the be like, me too. you apologize that nigga way too much. Y'all shut the fuck up. Shut <laughs> <laughs> the fuck up. <laughs> this is what I mean well, because I am a real nigga. So if anybody ever um, look at me as a different thing, I want to apologize because I'm not always right. And that's that's just life. But that's human nature. That's man. human nature. Mistakes. And yo, as a man, I apologize. And listen, like I said from the beginning of this podcast, I want to continue to make make sure that you call me brother again. My you did brother, call me brother like, earlier, my but I, I'm, 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 I want it more good. frequently. So I want to, yeah, and my because for life, you my dude, you at Dream oh. today. Though. Um, oh. You are no tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow you at Dream. Tomorrow we gonna tear the city down. All right, and then um, um, where you at Saturday? Cause did you no, have two at, parties I'm, out no, here. I'm out of here on Saturday. Oh, Saturday. Saturday. Okay, Saturday. I'm in um, cameo. I'm cameo. in cameo. Yeah, cameo. Cameo. Uh, by the time this comes out, I had already been at cameo. Well, we don't know that yet. No, we know that. Yeah, we know that because I want to spend a week of just promoting this. Okay. So let's drop Akinelli tomorrow. <laughs> we're just telling the fans what we're going to do right now. <laughs> Yo, what smell is that? That shit smell like honey. <laughs> That's 89 trying to take care of the. Oh my God, I need that in the crib. That smell like Rosanio. <laughs> that smell like Rosanio. So the true, true life. I thank you so much, my nigga. Thank y'all. Thank you. My ENR. Yeah, Me and you. We're going. We're going. Listen, I thank you so much. I ain't going to front. I like that. <laughs> but I thank you so much, True Life. You're a real doer. I want you to be successful. Nah, you're a real one too. I don't God want bless you, you bro. I don't want you to um um fully cross out going back to a label because as a person who made mad mistakes, y'all spending thirty yeah, thousand. It's not it's not crossed out, but um you know we just trying to we we trying to get things right, man. It's I would ownership. love to be I would love to be in a situation where we don't have to do that. But if if, if you know so be it. The situation. Presents itself that's the right situation, you know, for me businessly. Right. Then I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna snatch that up. Yeah, because do me personally do. as a fan, and I'm not talking about me as mm. your friend or me as your brother or me as anybody. I would like to see you on an Epic Records. Mm. I would like to see you on a Def Jam. Mm. I would like to see you on a Rock Nation. I'd like to see you on a title. I'd like mm. to see you on something because you know why? Your music, you always have made music that is bigger 
than your image. Wow. And that's a beautiful thing. So many people make music that is not equivalent to their image. Yeah. You make music that is Right bigger. now, some of these guys are like, no, he's crazy, because they ain't really, they ain't they really don't, good. Yeah, they but don't, but they listen, don't know. nigga, I seen, they don't I, know. I, I heard like two of your albums, not oh, one. Yeah, facts. Like, I heard like two or three of your albums, and I'm like, God damn it. And niggas with real full-fledged budgets couldn't pull off what you did, from Rick Ross to Jeezy to Nas to Jay-Z to whoever you've ever worked with. It's like, so I just want, and mind you, I love being independent because I like yeah. being my own boss. Well, but right now, Mike Kaiser, answer your fucking phone. <laughs> you foul motherfucker. I would, uh, 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 L.A. Reid, please answer your fucking email. Well, I would slide back to a label in a minute. I just because, shout out to L.A. Reid. I seen him when me and Future was together. The Future video. Yeah, let's talk yeah. about that because yeah. you were like the only like. Yeah, he was, he was actually telling me I ran into Sylvia Rome with, I um, the, um, that day too. I and they were both asking me to come keys. up there. I got some keys. Yeah. yeah. You know what about the inside? You know what about the inside? Oh my God. We in the mirror like. You little nigga gonna laugh at me. Nah, let, let, let me be able, let me relax. Legit, relax. Right you ain't gonna relax. Right 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 now you go sign it, my nigga. Yo, you know what the crazy shit is? I swear to God, that's my favorite Kanye record. Nah, I appreciate it. All day, all day. All day, all day. And that's all that's that's why when True was introducing me to you, I was like, he kept saying, he kept saying these other records, and I'm like, that I I know this nigga from somewhere else. I thought me and you went to school or something. I, I, I know I'm older than you. But um, I thought it was something else. And then the nigga said, um, he produced the Kanye all day. I was like, that's exactly what I know from. <laughs> Yo, man, you're a very talented guy. Appreciate you're from upstate New York, which is New York. And New York, and New York, we gonna start representing Albany, Poughkeepsie. Oh, we, it doesn't matter where the fuck you from. Oh, yeah. If you from New York, you from New York, we gonna represent it. We gonna represent the east side and true life. I'm so thankful. Oh. My motherfucking guy, I'm so thankful for Good you guys coming young. through, man. And yo, this drink chance motherfucking podcast, and now I'm gonna smoke some weed because I don't smoke. Listen, I did not smoke weed the whole interview. I ain't not proud of you. Yeah, I'm, I'm very You're proud. You supposed of to you. stop me in mid interview and say I'm proud of you, Nori. Man, I don't smoke. I don't give a fuck. Your beard is supposed to text me. Your beard didn't even text me, my nigga. Yo, yo, thank you, True yo, Life. Thank y'all, man. Nigga. Appreciate y'all. Let me y'all, get your man. name right. Zealous. Bellis. Bellis. With a B. With a B. Bellis. Yeah, yeah. Motherfucking True Life. Yo, we love y'all. Drink chance podcast. Let's go. Thank you so much, my brother.